Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl the Real Truth Divine Feminine. Welcome to my channel. I come with a quick little message for you guys. And my message for you guys is equal give or take or no take at all. Make sure you aren't putting in much, too much into someone because you want them or you want to help them get where you feel that they should be. If you are independent, they should be independent also. Because being independent and having someone codependent on you drains you big time because they depend on your energy your time your finances your knowledge your everything and it's a no it's time to stop putting that much work into someone else and focus upon yourself and put all that energy into you it's okay to be selfish with your energy with your time with your money with your knowledge because if you are giving too much into others you don't have anything to give yourself if you allow yourself to be a priority instead of trying to to feed an unequally yoked relationship friendship situationship uh both parties have to be willing to to uh to put in rather that's 50 50 60 60 70 30 or whatever the numbers are that's accountable in your life prime example it's a prime example if i pay in all the bills you're gonna pay the mortgage if if you pay in the car note i'm gonna pay the insurance if if i'm buying groceries we both gonna cook we both gonna tend to our children because that's our children yes you work yes i work but guess what i might need i might be the nurturing one but i need you to be the disciplined one because i'm not a discipliner now, i'm just talking about me i'm not a discipliner so i need you to discipline but i i'm gonna do the nurturing part i'm gonna do the other stuff but we both have to put in for our situation to be better for the situation to be work for the situation to work out um but because if you putting in everything, you are independent and they are codependent to you doing everything for them. OK, it's not going to work no matter how much you try to force a relationship, no matter how much you try to force a situation. No, I don't care if it's on your job. If you doing everybody else load and everybody else uh, piling your stuff on them their stuff up on you it is not gonna work you heard me these people are codependent to you you go to work to do your job you understand whenever you sign that paper a place of employment you go to work to do your job what they are paying you to do not do uh susan key james uh linda ashley paul robert's job no that's not what you go there to do you go there to do your job because other than that people get codependent on you having that i need you to file this they get codependent on you filing this if it wasn't in your job description if that's not what you signed on to do unless they're promoting you and paying you more giving you an upper position then you overdo your job if not you do what you were there to do that's just like in a relationship you cannot overdo and overstep those boundaries and do it stuff because eventually they become codependent to you doing those things. And you do not need nobody to be codependent on you except your children. If they are children at the time. And to be honest with you, you don't need your children to be codependent on you. You need your children to know that you are there for them. But your children have to learn how to be independent also. So I don't know who this message is for. And I, and I hope this message reach you if it's for you. But what I will say is that if it's not equal give and take, you do not need it. I, you, I do not need you as a person to be pouring more into me. I'm just going to use me as an example. You pouring more into me as I'm pouring into you. No, because if you so much feeding me so much, you're neglecting yourself. And I can't be with nobody who's neglecting their self because you're so busy worried about feeding me. You're so busy worried about encouraging me. You're so busy worried about uplifting me. But while you uplifting me, while you encouraging me, I am tearing you down. That cannot happen. It should not happen. I'm just telling you. I, I, I'm just letting y'all know. I don't know who it's for, but I'm just letting you know. It has to be equal give and take. If if every time you calling on somebody and they not there for you, but every time you call on them, they'll call you, hey, I need this, I need that. Okay, okay, I'm going to take care of it. Bam. Whether it's money, whether it's love, whether it's prayer, whether it's encouraging words, whatever it may be. 
if they always calling on you for something, but every time you call on them, they cannot reciprocate the same stuff back, let it go. It is not equal give and take. And guess what? You should not want to be with someone who cannot reciprocate back to you what you are giving to them. If I'm giving you love, give me love. If I'm giving you respect, give me respect. If I'm giving you loyalty, give me loyalty. If I'm giving you my money, give me some of your money. If I'm giving you my time, give me your, some of your time. If I'm giving you encouraging words, encourage me. You understand? That's how it goes. Equal give and take. Don't stay stuck in stagnant nowhere without no equal give and take. I don't know who this message is for, but it's your girl, the real true divine feminine. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.